They shot all my friends. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was just standing there, staring at them. I wasn't moving, I wasn't doing anything. And then one of them aimed his gun towards me and he shot me from a distance. The first shot I received was on my face. I fell on the floor and I felt extreme pain that I have never ever felt in my life before. And I realized that I was shot on my face. When I woke up from the coma, I saw my mom and my sister standing right next to me. That was a really happy moment for me, plus a really sad moment for me. Happy moment because I was alive and I could see my mom again. It was really sad for me at the same time because of loss of my friends and what I've been through. I missed two years of my schooling. When I got discharged, the first thing I, I did was I asked Malala Yousafzai's family. They, they are really good family friends and they are more like a family to me. So I asked her father that I want to join a school. With their help and support, I was able to to join University of Birmingham School. When I was coming here for the first time, I was really nervous. I, I was thinking that when they accept me, but when I came here, the students, the teachers and everyone here was so supportive and accepted me. It didn't took me long to adjust here and the school arranged an assembly for me. I didn't write my speech, uh, I didn't prepare much. I was just uh, looking down and I was, uh, I was telling the story. And when I ended my speech and looked up and uh, I saw the students, all of them had tears in their eyes and my teachers were crying. And then they gave me a standing ovation. It gave me a lot of motivation, a lot of encouragement. It made me realize that people do want to listen to me. I could inspire people through my story. I started motivational speaking and I started sharing my stories. A lot of children that go to these terrorist organizations is because of poverty. And I started telling them how lucky they are to be in here and to have all these opportunities. There, there's so many problems like child labor, like equality and terrorism and education is the only solution to all those problems. They're not scared of bombs and guns, they're scared of education, that's why they attacked my school. They know that it's, it is the only weapon which can totally eradicate the terrorism from its roots. It's my aim now to, to do social work and to start my own organization or my charity for the students, for the underprivileged children around the world to raise awareness and work for so that every child can have access to quality education. The attack has obviously had a big impact on my life. Although this has given me a lot of pain, it has given me more strength, more determination. I want to dedicate my life to those children who are affected by war and by child labor, by poverty around the world. I don't want any other child to suffer like me or uh, the way my friends suffered.